Hey, what's going on YouTube? So this is going to be a quick little overview of the parts that I'm putting on my upper for my 300 blackout build. Uh, a little while ago I did a similar video for the parts of my lower, feel free to check that out. Um, so going in the order that I bought the parts, I'm just going to list off what I have on this. This is an Aero Precision stripped upper. It did come with the Ford Assist and Dust Catch already installed, which I liked. Um, next thing is my rail. This is a 13 inch parallax tactical uh, key mod, which I got at a local gun shop there on a sale on. I got it for a pretty good price. I was originally going to go with the, uh, the Troy SDMR, but after I saw this and how much thinner it was, which I wanted to go with a slimmer rail for this build and the price difference, I decided to go with this instead. It does come with, own, with its own proprietary barrel nut that, um, that comes with the package. It also comes with a, um, with a small rail section that you can attach to the key mod. The only thing that I'm not too crazy about with this is that the, uh, the screws that attach it to your barrel nut, are uh, they protrude a little bit, which I'm not too crazy about. On a lot of the uh, more expensive, nicer rails, it's a lot more discreet how it's attached to the barrel nut. But again, for the price I got this, I really shouldn't be complaining. Um, after that, I got my uh, AFG-1, which um, I went with the 1 over the 2 just because the sides here go up a little bit higher. And it helps hide the rail underneath the, um, or in between that and the, uh, the rail a little bit more. And I kind of like that, so I went with this over the two. Um, next is my barrel. It's a, a Wilson Combat 16 inch uh, carbine length, uh, one and eight twist. Um, I've heard a lot of a lot about Wilson Combat through their 1911 parts, and knowing that it's a great company, I just decided to go with this. I've heard some pretty good reviews about their barrel, so I thought I'd try it out. Um, after that, I got my gas my gas uh, tube and gas block gas block under there is a uh, bravo company um, low pro gas block it's 750 diameter and uh, the gas tube i'm using is a lbe unlimited carbine length uh, comes with the roll pin which is good to know uh, after that is my flash hider i just went with pretty much the cheapest one i could find because this is temporary I just wanted to have something besides just a, um, a thread cover. So this is a, it's just a cheap flash hider by a company, um, RSM or RMS, something along those lines. It was only like 20 bucks, but you can tell that it's pretty cheap. I don't know if you could see it or not, but the, uh, the finish wasn't very good. There's tool marks all over it. It's just not a very good product. But again, it's temporary. I plan on making my own compensator pretty soon. If I do that, then I will post a video of it. Um, after that, I got my sights. I got. I just went with the uh, the polymer M bus uh, Magpul M bus sights. They're great sights for the price. Um, I do plan on using them as backup sights, so they're not going to get too much use out of them. But I do have the uh, the same rear sight on my other AR that I use as the primary sight, and it works great. I've never had any issues with it. Um, after that, I got my charging handle. This is a AXTS Raptor. It's an ambidextrous charging handle. I want. I am a left-handed shooter, so I wanted to try something ambidextrous this time, and I've always loved the look of the uh, the rap the Raptors. So I thought I'd give it a shot. Um, if I was gonna pick one today. I would probably go with the um, the new one by Mega Arms that just came out. I believe it's called the Slide Lock, and it's pretty much an ambidextrous charging handle that doesn't use any levers at all. It's a it's actually a newer concept for charging handles. I haven't seen it anywhere else at least, and it looks pretty promising. And it was cheaper than this as well. Um, and then the last part I got, I actually just got this in the mail a couple hours ago, is my bolt carrier group. This is a uh, Spikes Tactical Nickel Boron. I believe it's their part number ST5BG03. Um, I love Spikes Tactical. I have their uh, Black Phosphate bolt carrier group on my other rifle, and I haven't had any issues with it. The only thing that I would note is that all the videos that I've seen on this bolt carrier group, the bolt carrier group is really shiny and uh, has a really um, like buffed finish to it, whereas this is a not <laughs> although you can still tell it's nickel boring you can tell by how slick the finish is i'm not concerned about that it's just something i noticed um 
one of the main reasons I'm staying with spikes over anything else is that they're they're um, the metals that they use. Most places don't use a carpenter steel bolt uh, bolt head, which I was going for. I don't think I'll need that extra strength for a 300 blackout, but I'd rather be safe. And also, if I ever decide to um, leave California and get a rifle that has a fun switch, I would want that for a full auto. So that's why I decided to go with them again. And, of course, made in USA. Can't complain about that. So uh, that's my upper. The only things that I plan on changing still is um, I plan on getting an optic mounted on here pretty soon. My mount should be coming in within the next week or so. And then uh, once my optic comes in stock, then I'll order it. It should be here a couple weeks after that. So uh, thanks for watching, guys. Any questions, feel free to ask. If not, like and subscribe. Thanks.